and there it is. Another version 4. Full HP version 4. This fight is going to be ridiculous. What is up everybody? How is it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to show you my final battle with Object 268 version 4 before it is going to be nerfed. Like seriously, this battle, this vehicle, just... And I wanted to save this vehicle to my channel one more time. To my channel's video archive one more time in its uh, so-called prime time. In its uh, one of the most overpowered vehicles in the history of World of Tanks time. And I said one of the most overpowered vehicles in the history of World of Tanks. What do you guys think? This is going to be my video question today as well. You are going to see one poll in the top right corner. I am going to add one ping as well, so you are not going to miss it. And the question is, what do you think? Is this old version or current version of Object 268 version 4 the most overpowered vehicle in the history of World of Tanks or not? I know there are a lot of people who think that this vehicle is so broken, so overpowered, uh, it is not even funny. But at the same time there are people who say it is okay, it is perfectly balanced. It is easy vehicle to take out. In some battles, on some maps, uh, I do not have any problems uh, taking out 268 version 4. So you have to flank it, you have to use different maneuvers and so on. But the biggest problem with 268 version 4 is that uh, to take it out you have to be a bit more experienced player. You have to be above average, I would say. And the average player base never flanks, never sees the opportunities to move in from different angles, and many times it is simply not that easy to do, because there are 14 other enemies that are not going to let you to simply flank one of their teammates, of course. So you have to think about that as well. Uh, there are always snipers, there are always base campers, uh, like suddenly they have their best day of their life, because, oh yes, someone is flanking behind our lines, so let's take it out. And you are done. Many, many times it is simply not that easy as explained in the textbook. But one of the biggest the so-called OP proofs uh, about version 4 is average player win ratio. There are countless amount of screenshots about players whose average win ratio is around uh, let's say 47.5 uh, up to 49% and uh, for some magical reason in 268 version 4 their win ratio is up to 59% in some extreme cases. So yeah, here, here comes the difference. But I have covered this topic many many times already, I do not want to cover it one more time. My today's video question was, what do you think? Is this current Object 268 version 4 the most overpowered tank in the history of World of Tanks? Just think about it super hard, think about uh, all the other vehicles, think about Mouse Type 5, like, uh, go back, go back in the history. What do you guys think? about 268 version 4 overall. Let me know, top right corner is for that. So let's enjoy this magical ridiculous battle played by Firelinx705 in his 268 version 4. So far he has received I do not even know how many shots and no penetrations. Still at full HP, 4328 damage done, 3240 damage bounced. He doesn't give a damn. And one, one situation is going to be extremely ridiculous in this battle. 268 version 4 versus another version 4. Yes, you are going to see this uh, fight as well. And that was one nicely aimed shot, I have to say. And by the way, he is not going to use any premium heat before he runs out of uh, AP rounds, uh, regular AP rounds, which is quite rare to see, if I'm completely honest with you. Uh, I was checking out, uh, today I was checking out literally like... Um, what, what is it? I can actually check it out, okay, quickly, let me minimize, uh, 4, 8, 12, 15, I checked out 15 different Object 268 version 4 battles for today's episode, and I picked this one. I did watch every single one, and sometimes I, sp I speed him up just to see what happens, I, I do not want to watch camping and all that. But uh, I did watch 15 replays and this one takes the cake, for sure. 
and uh, in many many other replays uh, premium rounds were used uh, right off the bat uh, when they saw like tier 10 vehicles premium rounds went in and so on and this is what frustrates a lot of players who play against version 4s as well on the top of everything else if they receive one heat round from 268 version 4 this is the cherry on the top of the cake and yeah hell breaks loose seriously now, so this battle so far it has been pretty interesting i believe on the background and he did receive his first damage as well apcr round from moisten went in and there it goes there goes moisten but he was able to put yet another shot into lynx while he was moving actually so congratulations you did two shots worth of damage so fire lynx is down to 1126 hp waiting for some more targets, two AP rounds left. The E1 over there should be taken out. I understand why he's not moving in because E75, D54, and T95 should be able to deal with one D54 E1 who goes down swinging. This guy simply doesn't want to go down. E75 missed as well. Yet another shot. And now Farrelynx finally decided to reposition to help out his Type 4. Okay, Conway. Ooh, hello, Waffentrager of Panther 4, who has bounced so many shots already. I do not even know how many shots he has bounced and the GWE 100 has been spotted. Of course, Fire Lynx is going to switch the target and rip. 550 damage done and there it is. Another version 4. Full HP version 4. This fight is going to be ridiculous. But for the start, let's take out that Waffentrager Panther 4 who was playing a bit too aggressively. No, Lynx says no, you are not going to kill me. Epic music kicks in, perfect timing, because 555 HP version 4 versus full HP version 4. And who is going to win this fight? Well, let's find out. First bounce, 650 damage bounced. Okay, now it is time for Lynx to put one shot into the upper plate and you did hit the bloody gun. I am pretty sure you did hit the gun. So still, full HP version 4 versus 531 HP version 4. Okay, you did some ramming damage, but all you have left is heat round. Heat goes through, but the other version 4 is not using premium rounds at the moment. Let's uh, let's see if he decided to load in a couple heats. No, he didn't. Heat wins the fight. Or does it? Because even Lynx is going to bounce one shot with heat round. That upper superstructure was angled just a bit too hard. Let's see if the enemy decided to load in heat now. Okay, waiting, waiting, and he is going to aim at the superstructure once again. Or is he trying to hit the commander hatch? Oh, this time he was actually trying to hit the commander hatch. Now, I wonder. I am looking at this other dude. I'm looking at the enemy version 4. And I'm thinking, is this yet another problem? He was able to get himself his own 268 version 4 without having any clue how to play with it or how to play against it, how to take it out, weak spots and so on. He was aiming at the superstructure with regular rounds. God damn it. And I don't know, is this another problem? Because versus any other tank in this game besides Lynx in his object 268 version 4, that previous dude who just died would have been able to dominate all the other tanks in this game. So yeah, go figure. Hello type 4, what the hell is this guy trying to do? Let's put one hit into the lower plate. Done. Yet another kill. Kill number 8. Full HP, not so full HP, VK4502B anymore. Conway is speaking, this guy needs to go down, Conway is the one shot for Lynx. We have our buddy in E75 behind us as well, uh, providing some nice support fire. But I think those guys, they do not have good enough penetration to penetrate version 4 under angle like this. Meanwhile, version 4 is able to put heat shots through those guys one by one, shot after shot. The three heat rounds left. Now let's see if he is going for the, what is it, Fadin's medal, I believe. When you kill the final enemy vehicle with the last shell in your tank. Is Lynx going to do it? Is he that greedy or not? Let's find out. And I guess he's not going to do it. No. Lynx is not going to take any risks whatsoever. He picks up the kill. His kill number 10. Ace tanker. Blow up ribbon. Bulls medal. High caliber. Top gun. Tank sniper. And steel wall. 
over 12,000 damage done. 10 kills, 1,751 raw experience. One-sided carry, one-sided battle. And at the same time, he blocked 9,380 damage. 9,380 damage bounced. And this is Object 268 version 4 in its current state. Let me know what you think. Is this the most overpowered vehicle in the history of World of Tanks before it is going to be nerfed a bit? Commander hatches nerfed, the lower plate, durability, gun handling a bit. Uh, a bit weak range and uh, speed nerfed a bit. Uh, what do you think about 268 version 4 after it is going to be nerfed? Let me know in the comments, of course, or hitting the thumbs up button, thumbs down button, hit that subscribe button and all that. Now I am going to render this episode, I'm going to edit it and I'm going to bed. Stay awesome, sexy, take care and bye.